hockey is more than just a game. It's about uh, creating friendships, relationships, and it, it teaches you life life lessons as well. You know, when you face adversity, it's how you overcome that and what you're going to do next. Good evening. It's no secret that hockey holds a special place in the hearts of Canadians. So when a junior hockey team from Saskatchewan was involved in a fatal collision, the country rallied around them. Nearly seven months later, the surviving members of the Humboldt Broncos are in Aurora, sharing the love of the game with the local team who this weekend will be honoring them. It's important for us to, to have these little breaks like this and just enjoy the moment. Inside the Keg Steakhouse and Bar in Aurora, hockey players and their families break bread. Some of those at the table, members of the Humboldt Broncos junior hockey team, survivors of a horrific bus collision in April that claimed the lives of 16 players and staff members, also injuring 13 others, including Ryan Stratznitsky and his teammate, Lane Matichuk, who suffered a brain injury and was released from the hospital one month ago, a celebration for the tight-knit hockey team. Kind of excited for Lane. Yeah. Um, you know, he's out, he's on his own, and... Uh, you know, he's, he's doing great, and so we celebrate that. Jackson Joseph, seen here donning his humbled Broncos jersey, was your average hockey-loving teen. He died in that collision. His father, former NHLer Chris Joseph, is in Aurora this weekend, along with several other players and their families. The Aurora Tigers Junior A team brought them out as their guests of honor as Rogers Hometown Hockey makes a stop in the town this weekend. The Aurora Tigers were exactly what the Humble Broncos were, and we're very, uh, very fortunate to be here together. During the Tigers game this Saturday, the players will be wearing the Broncos jersey and the puck will be dropped by the Humboldt players. Junior hockey, we're all family and, and all you got to do is put, you know, I sit to Chris tonight at dinner. I just put my feet in your shoes. My son's the same age. You know, my son James was playing in Wellington that night and they traveled home. So I could maybe be in Saskatchewan right now visiting you. It could have been tables turned. In the hockey world, it hit home for everybody and it still is, but it's nice to see the smiles. The Humboldt players, not only hometown heroes back in Saskatchewan, but across Canada. This weekend, the owner of the Tigers and former NHLer Jim Thompson wants to give the boys and their families a weekend of celebration on the ice and off. They'll be doing some sightseeing, and the players will also be volunteering their time at the Aurora Food Bank this Saturday. They'll also get the opportunity to attend a Leafs practice and game and come face-to-face -face with the athletes who've also been touched by each one of their stories. We've felt it from uh, every level of hockey, from the NHL all the way down to a novice team. Anybody that has children has felt uh, a little something from this, and it's made everybody kind of reflect on what's important. And this Saturday, when the Broncos players attend the Leafs game, Jim tells me the Buds will also be honoring them in a special way. By the way, if you do want to donate a non-perishable food item, the team will be at the Food Cube at the Aurora Community Center from 5 to 6 p.m. on Saturday. Our newsroom received an email bringing the story to our attention. If there's a story you'd like us to look into, here are all the ways you can get in touch with us.